So we've got some training camp film to break down of Aaron Rodgers and the New York Jets. Right off the bat, I want to apologize for the vertical filming of these videos, but we're working with what we have, courtesy of Talk Jets Radio and ARAM822 on Twitter. Without further ado, guys, let's just get right into the film. So this first play here is going to showcase the chemistry between Aaron Rodgers and Alan Lazard and is going to showcase why the Jets brought in Alan Lazard once they knew that Aaron Rodgers was going to become their quarterback. So the first thing I want you to actually notice here is what is going on pre-snap. So I'm going to go ahead and start to play it here, and you'll see that Aaron Rodgers is giving sort of a signal here. I'll go ahead and roll it back a little bit. It's all the way back. There you go. A little twirl in the air there. That's like a reload signal. And then he looks back and gives a signal to Alan Lazard. So he's telling Alan Lazard to run a specific route or do something subtle within his route to make sure that Aaron Rodgers can deliver him the ball on time with accuracy. And Alan Lazard knows this. He and Rodgers are very familiar with each other. Aaron knows when Alan Lazard is going to be in a certain spot at a certain time, and Lazard knows when Aaron is going to deliver him the ball during that time. So here, the Jets' defense is going to be running some sort of a three-deep coverage. Given Robert Sala's roots, I'm assuming it's going to be cover three, but we cannot see the play developing downfield very much defensively because of the camera angle. But what they're going to do here is they're going to run Alan Lazard on a post route right here. So post-snap, the first thing that I want you to notice with Aaron Rodgers after this play fake here is he does a really, really nice job snapping back and getting his base set to make this throw. And that is going to be a critical component, again, of delivering the throw with accuracy. Look at Rodgers. You can't see his back foot, but you can see that he's got a good, solid base here. And when he actually goes to make the throw, I really love how he generates velocity with his hips. And look at the throw that he delivers there to Alan Lazard. Again, man, he snaps and uses those hips to drive the ball over the head of the middle level of the defense. This is really, really a high-level throw here from Aaron Rodgers. And once again, showcases the chemistry between Rodgers and Lazard because you probably figure Rodgers was telling Lazard there pre-snap where to be on the field in terms of the space in the zone coverage here. So... This is really, really, really nice here. And again, a showcase of why the Jets brought in Alan Lazard to make Aaron Rodgers more comfortable. And same thing goes for guys like Randall Cobb. Although there are not any videos of Rodgers working with Cobby here, Cobb's also in because he understands the subtleties of Aaron Rodgers and Rodgers understands the subtleties of him even more so than the chemistry between Rodgers and Lazard because Rodgers and Cobb have played together for 10 plus years. So you really, really are impressed to see these kinds of plays and really are hoping to, that it'll translate to the regular season if you are a New York Jets fan. Love it. So the video for the second play here is not going to start until after the snap, but it's going to showcase a beautiful rep by number four DJ Reed going against Garrett Wilson, the Jets' number one wide receiver, who is the best route runner on the team hands down. And DJ Reed is able to stay with him step for step. The Jets are going to be running Garrett Wilson on this out route here. And I want you to watch this rep from DJ Reed because it is absolutely textbook. Right there, man. He's right with him stride for stride. You can't see when Wilson went to make the cut, but I have to imagine that Reed was with him when he went to make that cut. Pretty good ball location from Aaron Rodgers where he was expecting Wilson to be. I'll go ahead and pause it. He was expecting Wilson to come right there, and the ball sort of went off his hands too, but that's just flypaper type coverage right there from DJ Reed, man. Super impressive, and that also goes to show that the Jets are a dominant unit 
on the defensive side of the ball. And that was one of their most underrated qualities, in my opinion, in terms of media attention from the 2022 season. People don't seem to realize just how loaded that Jets defense was last season, and they're even more loaded this season. They have a defensive mastermind in Robert Sala organizing things, and their defensive coordinator, Jeff Ulbrich, is one of the up-and-coming defensive minds in the game. So the New York Jets are a juggernaut on defense, and it's it's not just Sauce Gardner who's a lockdown corner, but DJ Reed as well. And I feel like he deserves some of his flowers in this video. Nice. So here we've got a rep of iron sharpening iron. It is Sauce Gardner versus Garrett Wilson, mano y mano. Unfortunately, Garrett Wilson did suffer an injury in practice today. It appears to have been an ankle injury. Hopefully he's okay and we get to see more and more of this matchup in training camp. But here, this one is going to be won by Garrett Wilson. Rodgers makes a little check of the line there with that hard count. And you can see right away that Wilson is going to stack and try to get that inside leverage on Sauce Gardner. And as he does so, initially Gardner does a pretty good job of hanging with him one-on-one. -on -one, but Wilson is then going to kind of turn inside with this little head dip and fake cut. And that's where Sauce turns his hips a little bit and ultimately loses his footing and loses the rep. So this is, once again, iron sharpening iron here, right here. Garrett Wilson, one of the best route runners in the entire NFL. Sauce Gardner, one of the best corners in the NFL. But right there, Wilson gives Sauce the best. This is a really, really good rep by Garrett Wilson. And again, it all comes in with a little subtlety right there of faking his cut. You see him dip his head right there, and that's what causes Sauce to sort of dip down with him, and he ultimately loses his footing, and Wilson gets that separation. So here is going to be another tough rep from Sauce Gardner, and it's going to come against an unlikely opponent. Now, this video is not going to start until after the snap, but you'll see that right here, he is lined up against the New York Jets undrafted free agent wide receiver Brownlee. And Brownlee is going to give him the business on this particular play. You'll see right there that right off the bat, he pushes Sauce and absolutely uses that physicality and those hands. Remember, this is all legal contact within five yards of the line of scrimmage. And right here, you're going to see that Rodgers is going to launch up this go ball here to the UDFA wide receiver. And because of that push off there at the line of scrimmage from Brownlee, which once again was completely legal... He's going to get wide ass open for a touchdown. So this is a fun rep right here and one that Sauce is going to look at on tape and just shake his head. This undrafted free agent kid, Jason Brownlee, has got a legitimate chance to make the roster. This is awesome stuff right here. And this is not the first time I've seen his name pop up on Twitter for making an impression at camp. So keep an eye out for Jason Brownlee at Jets training camp. Once again there... Getting work in against Sauce Gardner and catching balls from Aaron Rodgers. This is nice. And then finally on this play, this is an element of the Green Bay Packers offense that Aaron Rodgers and Nathaniel Hackett have brought over. And that is Aaron Rodgers' mastery of the hard count. And when he does indeed get a defender to jump off sides, what he ends up doing is having his left tackle usually, as you'll see here, jump as well because that'll get the referees to see that he was induced and forced to jump creating the offsides penalty making it clear to the referees that the penalty happened and when the Packers for all those years and now in this case the Jets did indeed catch one of the defensive linemen jumping offsides they would literally just instruct all of their receivers to streak downfield just four verts 
Everybody is going downfield all the way. And on this matchup, Rodgers is going to test Garrett Wilson here. Unfortunately, this is the play where Garrett Wilson gets hurt. It appears that he's going up against DJ Reed. Now, you'll see that Wilson does get a little separation on Reed. The safety does come in. Pretty good throw there from Rodgers, but Reed's able to get in there and jar it loose. But unfortunately, once again, this is the play where Garrett Wilson gets hurt. So, overall, a lot of elements from the Green Bay Packers offense. This is the Aaron Rodgers offense all the way with Nathaniel Hackett calling the plays. Garrett Wilson, hopefully he's okay and is able to get back on the field as soon as possible because it's very apparent that the chemistry between Rodgers and Wilson was developing quite nicely before Wilson went down. These clips also showcase why the Packers brought in somebody like Alan Lazard, who has that chemistry with Aaron Rodgers, who can read his hand signals and understand what Aaron wants him to do. You have to imagine that Alan Lazard is going to see a really significant amount of targets in this offense, even with guys such as Garrett Wilson and even possibly Corey Davis ahead of him. So overall, New York Jets fans, I feel like there's a lot for your team to be optimistic about from these training camp clips. And obviously it's practice, so guys are never going to go 100%, but this does give us a good baseline idea of what to potentially expect from the New York Jets offense this season and the kind of ball hawking production that the New York Jets defense looks to provide this season as well. All right, guys, I'm curious about how you thought Aaron Rodgers and the New York Jets looked in these clips. Drop those comments down below. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, guys, be sure to leave a like on this video as well as subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more training camp film study content. I am your host, Gage Madrid, saying peace out.